Imagine if I told you that for just $5,000, you could join a secret society as powerful as the Illuminati. Well, apparently that's what Andrew Tate's program, The War Room, is all okay. about. So The War Room is, is kind of like the Illuminati, but cooler. I started The War Room to attract a conglomerate of superheroes. It's kind of like Avengers. We have over 2,000 members, over 600 millionaires, but you can get kicked at any moment without a refund. And today I'm gonna be spending my life savings to go behind the scenes and uncover the secret world that Andrew has created to see if it lives up to the hype. Let's do it. We're here right now on Cobra Tate's website. They got this crazy video, bro, shooting guns, popping bottles, doing all different type of stuff. As you can see, this is the greatest global network which exists on planet Earth. Notice how they blur everybody's face inside of the war room. Like, I'm genuinely curious who is inside of here. By the end of the day, once we get inside, I wanna try to meet up with somebody in my city and actually interview them because I'm curious what type of people are inside of this thing. Yeah, let's buy it. All right, so it looks like you can't actually buy it directly. I have to actually speak to them to buy it. So I want to buy the war room. I feel like they do this to make it feel all super exclusive. You must be interviewed to get inside. All right. I just got a message back from Morpheus himself, you know, uh, Mr. Red Pill. Sir, I am as serious as ever. And then he says crypto is the only available payment option. It's kind of annoying, but I guess I'll pay them with some Ethereum. I'm really sending money to a trillionaire right now. That's crazy. Hopefully it's worth it, man. I'm hoping it's worth it for real. And almost instantly, things took a turn for the worst. We're off to a tremendous start already. After I sent the money to them through Coinbase, I immediately got a call from the support team saying that my wallet is now locked for the next two months because the wallet I just sent money to is a blacklisted wallet on the blockchain. That probably would have been good to know before I sent the money. So now the majority of my crypto is frozen and I gotta figure out another way to get them the money. You know, I don't dislike Andrew. I kinda like the guy and I didn't wanna dislike the war room either, but so far this has not been a good experience. Then I spent another $5,000 to send them money through a different platform and I was finally able to access the war room. Kind of. After 24 hours, I finally heard back from them with some interesting news. Even though I already paid, now they're telling me to get inside, I have to sign a non-disclosure agreement. I'm not gonna lie, this makes me a little scared to keep doing this video, but let's check it out. That's crazy. I don't think I'm allowed to share this document with you guys, so I'm definitely not gonna do that. But basically, they're saying if I reveal anything that's inside of the war room, I'm liable for millions of dollars in damages. No joke. It's kind of scary and it makes you wonder what they're possibly trying to hide inside of there. I mean, I'm not saying that there's anything bad, but that is such a crazy amount to threaten people with. But I already paid, so there's no turning back now. Let's sign this document. I signed the contract and almost immediately was granted access to the war room. I joined excited to see what's inside and hopefully expand my network with some high level people. So I spent a couple days in there going through as much as I can to see exactly what it was all about. And after spending two days in there, my suit collection has literally doubled and I don't even have any regular clothes anymore. Nah, but on a more serious note, my experience inside the war room so far has been extremely underwhelming. And of course, to back up my points, I wanna show you guys exactly what's inside of the war room. But to avoid a multi-million dollar lawsuit and protect myself from going bankrupt, I had to get creative. Instead of actually showing you guys the war room, I figured we can go inside together and take a tour. Welcome, dumb virgin, to the war room. Upon entering, you are welcomed by the first priest who grants you access to the rooms and some required reading by Tate and his team. The rooms are basically just a bunch of different group chats. Inside, there are a variety of rooms about various subjects, such as making money. If you don't have money, just make more money. Growing your social media, meeting up IRL, and of course, women. And that is why it's better to have six girlfriends than one. That is talking my language. That is it's an elite circle of alpha males pushing each other to be better and growing alongside each other. And on paper, this sounds amazing, but after spending a couple days in this community, ultimately, I was disappointed. And the main reason for this was the actual quality of the conversations in these chat rooms. I was expecting to see some truly high level conversation from an elite group of men. What kind of full grown adult deliberately eats sushi? 
God, this man is brilliant. It didn't feel like I was talking with elites. It felt more like the Tate fan club. And since it's all spread out across over 20 different rooms, it lacks structure and there's no clear path to follow as a member, which sort of left me confused. From the website and the videos on the homepage, I expected something different. I don't know, maybe it's just me, maybe I'm crazy. So I reached out to a couple of the War Room members here in Miami and I found one that's willing to do an interview with me to share how he feels about his experience in the War Room. And I'm about to be late, so we gotta go. So, how long have you been in the War Room? I've been in the War Room now for about four to five months. Why did you join? What made you want to get inside of there? I was uh, just scrolling TikTok a lot and on my For You page, I just seen the classic tape videos always popping up and I started to like what this guy was saying. So I fell into it. I liked some videos and just with the algorithm, more and more videos started to appear on my For You page. I found out he had a private network and I looked into the war room and I ended up joining. Do you feel like the program lived up to the expectations that you had for it? Uh, this is just like a part where I just want to like think about these answers um, here. No problem. Bro. Yeah, so maybe run it again. Yeah, I would say it has lived up to the expectations. I was expecting to get access to, uh, I, I'm trying to think how to word it, high level people because just the average common Joe isn't going to pay $5,000 to join a group chat. So what percentage of people do you feel like inside of the war room are actually these high value, high level people that is advertised? I would say about 25%. Isn't it kind of ironic though that you, you pay to join this elite circle and the majority of people that are inside of it are still beginners themselves and a lot of them are still just getting started on their journey? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, I can see where you're coming from, but what I'd recommend to you is just to probably be more involved within it and you could probably find one person which will make joining well worth it. I don't know, I, I, I would say it was worth the $5,000 I paid. So the last question for the people that are watching this video, would you actually recommend for them to get inside of the war room? If $5,000 is all you have, I wouldn't recommend joining with that money. I would recommend doing something else with that. But if you just have a $5,000 laying around, then yeah, I would recommend joining. All right, man, thank you very much. No problem. That was interesting. I, I still feel exactly how I felt about it when I first joined, yeah. but maybe there's more for me to see. All right, well, maybe you should go back into the chat and just see if you find anything valuable because I think you probably could based on what this guy said. I, I don't think I have any other option at this point. And maybe I could talk to Tate. I was starting to lose hope, so I took his advice and dove deeper into the war room. And I actually found an option to pay to book a call directly with Tate himself. I'm about to have a one-on-one -on -one call with Andrew in two minutes. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous right now. Come on. says, please wait. Well, I've been waiting for about 10 minutes. I just texted him, so. What if we start playing the Top G song? Do you think he'll magically appear on your phone? I think it's a great idea. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> the opposite happened. The call disappeared off the fucking screen. Uh, I paid $5,000 to join this program. I paid $3,000 to get on the phone with bro. I just have not been having the best experiences so far with this guy and his products, but. So I basically reached out to their team and they told me that he couldn't make the call today because he was busy. So the only available time he has for a call tomorrow is 5.30 in the morning. It's time. If I woke up at five in the morning for this call that I paid $3,000 for, and this man does not answer the phone, in about 30 seconds, the screen is gonna disappear, and I think my call with Andrew is dead. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Well, I joined the war room, and as you can see, my experience has not been the greatest. So ultimately, was it worth it? Not really. I'm going back to bed. White chicks, no doubt. Kind of money made these hoes wanna.